It's no use, Daniel. We haven't seen a living thing all morning. It's like the whole world had gone to sleep. It's dead. I remember a winter once when I was a boy. A great many perished. This is even worse. Well, it's going to start snowing again. Let's look over the west woods before it starts to come down. Ask shelter in your cart from the gathering storm. My wife awaits the birth of our firstborn. There's no room in the cart. This poor animal couldn't pull the extra weight anyway. Move out of the way. Get up! Do not worry, my husband. We will find shelter somewhere. these people been full up since last night we've got to get everybody in the fort it's our best chance to get them through the blizzard December, and there'll be three more months of this frozen over Hades. We'll never get through it. A fine Christmas it's going to be. The ancients get through it every year with a lot less than we have. Savages. They were born to this wasteland, this godforsaken wilderness. Now, you claim to be a religious man, Elisha. You should know only a man can forsake himself. Those are mighty high sounding and respectful words, Boone. But words are not going to put food in our bellies. Well, you can't put hope in a frying pan, but that's going to be our main staple for quite a while. Now, listen to me, all of you. We're in for a bad time. 
This winter has turned out to be far worse than any of us expected. But we'll get through if we just stick together. That's why I asked you to come and stay at the fort for a couple of weeks until the main part of the storm has passed. Mr. Boone, what do we do for food? You know the early frost took so much of the crop, and the game animals, they're gone. Why, there's no fresh meat to be had. Damn it, we've got prime trouble now without putting in an order for more. Now, we've got some meat salted away, and there might even be some fish in the creek. Well, if there are, they ain't gonna get away from me. I seem to remember a speckled trout that's still laughing at you. Oh, how can you make jokes when we might be dead in a few weeks? We're not gonna be dead in a few weeks, none of us. Not if we keep our heads. And in the meantime, if we can find a way to make each other laugh, all the better. I should have listened to Clint Brocker when he tried to talk me into going south with him. And I tell you, there's not enough food. You should have listened to someone. Maybe you'd have spent more time planting potatoes instead of building on that extra room. Now, there have got to be certain rules laid out, and we've got to live by them. And that means everybody. We're going to collect the meat that you brought and take it to the salt house along with ours so it won't spoil. And then we'll pass it out carefully as it's needed. What if I decide not to give up my food? Well, as long as you're here, Emmett, you'll have to do as I say. But I've got a big family to feed. Everybody will get an equal share. Now, the women and children will stay in the tavern during the day while the men hunt whatever game is left. I've seen the game that's left. They're nothing but frozen carcasses buried under the snow. And we'll be buried with them if a miracle don't happen. Well, now, don't go breaking a hamstring. By rationing what we've got, we'll get by. Can you guarantee that, Boone? Daniel, got two engines out here. I want to talk to you. One of them's a squaw. She looks froze clear through. Bring them in. Come on. We seek the one called Boone. I'm Boone. He's the one that pranced in front of my horse this morning. My name is Oneha. This is my wife, Tona. Oneha, I knew I recognized that name. You were the son of Chief Trenoy, are you not? I am his eldest son. But your wife is not a Creek. She is Tuscarora. She is the only child of Chief Grey Cloud. Of course, I remember now. This is no ordinary couple. This is a marriage of noble blood between two powerful and rival tribes. This is a marriage that finally stopped the bloodshed between the Tuscarora and the Creek. If the Great Spirit honors us with a son, he will unite our two tribes by blood and lasting peace. You're many miles from your people. We journey to the village of my wife. An escort from her village is to meet us and take us to the flat mountain to the north. Tana awaits the arrival of our first child. The signs are that he will be born before the new moon. Your wife's expecting a child within the next few days? And she's been out in the freezing cold, trudging through the snow? We'd hoped to reach the village of her father before the child came. But the snows have delayed us. Why such a trip with your wife in this condition? Her father's an old man. We were told he would not live till spring. His dying wish is to see the son of his daughter before death comes. I hear that, that the white man Boone is a friend to his red brothers. The sky darkens and fills with white ice. I ask shelter, not for myself, but for my wife and our child. There's no room here. But she's expecting a child. There's not enough room as it is. Since Natus, what about the storeroom? There ain't enough room left in there to let go with a good sneeze. About the only place that they ain't filled with people is the powder house. The air in there is not fit to breathe. What about the animal shelter? Now, that might be fitting. At least it'd be out of the elements. Well, who's going to feed them? The food supply is too low as it is. Well, two more mouths won't make that much difference. Well, I don't agree. And I don't believe anyone else will. No. No. Oh, wait a minute. It was a gray cloud that attacked my hunting party two years back. This girl's father. 
But a lot of white men was killed in that raid. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, that was two years ago. And as I recall, your party had no right to be in Great Cloud's hunting grounds. And since then, a treaty has been signed and there's been no trouble. The blood of our own is on her head. We don't want that savage. Yeah. Yeah. There's something to that. It's pretty risky. Well, I'm not going to turn out a woman expecting a child. Take her to shelter. I'll go with you. That's the food I'm worried about. That's just my food. Good morning. I brought you some hot broth. But you have young ones of your own to feed. Oh, we have plenty. And you have to keep your strength up. But good words they speak of Boone. Speak the same of his wife. The blanket you gave us last night. Oneha put it there to dull the cutting of the wind. It is all right? Of course. That's a very good idea. A gift of a blanket is a sign of friendship among my people. I want to be your friend, Tana. And now eat this before it gets cold. Oneha. No, little one. You must eat all. Our son must be strong. I go now to find some wood. Oh, there's wood behind the storehouse shelter. Take what you need. You will rest while I'm gone? Never have I known a man so big to worry about one so little. You go along, Aneha. I'll stay with Tana till you get back. Thank you. Where's the hatchet? I forgot it. We'll need it to cut through the ice. You go on, I'll catch up. Son. Oh. I'll find something to make a pillow for you. Nanteen. The Great Spirit honors you. Nanteen, my cousin. It has been so many springs since we said goodbye. Oh. Nanteen, this is my friend, wife of the great white man called Boone. I'm honored to meet the cousin of Tana. We lived as little children together until Oneha took me as his wife and I went to live with his people. How did you find us? I found your trail in the snow near the river and followed it here. I was afraid... the white man had captured you. The white man is our friend. He has given us shelter and food. Why did you come so far in the white cold? To warn you that Sashona is coming. And Grey Cloud sends Shoshona to meet us and escort us to the village of the Tuscarora. Do not trust Sashona. Shoshona? He is a Tuscarora brave who hates the Creeks and did not wish the tribes to bury their hate and live in peace. If the Great Spirit should honor Tana with a male child, our two tribes would be united forever. Sashona wants no male child to be born. He wants war. His heart is black and his blood boils with the fire of old hate. I have heard him swear that... that he will destroy a male child of Oneha and Tana. Oneha. 
I must return to the village before he knows I have warned you. Guard Tana well, Oneha. Nanteen! Too well. well. It's good enough to dry itself out and give us a little comfort. How'd you get out there today? Squirrel, bird, and four frozen feet. Not enough to choke a frog. Well, a frogs are not a bad idea. We have to dig a few out of the banks. Well, frogs are good eating. Delicacy. How do you hope to feed so many people on such pitiful game? I'm telling you, we'll never get through the winter at this rate. If you just listen to me, I've got a plan. I already you... have, Elisha. I know you're upset over the situation. We all are. But there's no sense in worrying the women folk any more than they are. You're a good man, but on the stubborn side, even hard-nosed at times, but all in all, you're a decent fellow. We're going out to the salt house to pick up some meat. Why don't you come out and give us a hand? Well, if I saw all that meat packed away, well, I, maybe it would give my spirits a lift. There's no doubt about it. Something's been chewing into this meat. And this piece. And this one, look at it. All this meat's been chewed into. Daniel. Dead raccoon. Well, how did he get in here? The door was locked. There must have been a loose board or under the roof. It doesn't matter, the damage is done. The mouth, I saw it. What about the mouth? Raccoon died of white fever. White fever? It's a highly contagious disease carried by animals. It wiped out an entire Cherokee village not long ago. All this meat's gonna have to be destroyed and the salt house burned. Destroy the meat? We have no choice. It's contaminated, spoiled. Can't risk spreading the disease. What's worse, Boone? Dying of white fever or starvation? <laughs> meat away from us and now it's all spoiled. I should have given it to my family while I still had it. Well, what are we gonna do? Just sit here and starve to death? Now let's simmer down. Let's not lose our heads yet. We're not the first ones to find themselves in this kind of predicament and we won't be the last. Even if we survive the cold, the blizzard, what do we live off of? What do we eat? A few scrawny rabbits and an occasional squirrel. Those puny three fish it took Cincinnatus all day long to catch. Well, there's better than none. I say we head south for Louisiana while there's still time. Well, now, how long do you think you'd last in that blizzard? I say Elijah's right. Let's get out of here while we can. We'd be plumb out of our minds to try to get through that snow. Well, we'd be plumb out of our minds if we stay here. Look, I was confident enough in Dan Boone to come here, and I still have enough confidence in him to stay. Emmett, how come you're so all-fired confident? Maybe you've got some grub stashed away we don't know about, huh? You accusing me of hoarding Jeremy Kane? Maybe that's just what I'm a doing. No! What is the matter with you? What is the matter? What is 
is wrong with you, man? If you let fear turn to hate, then there's no hope for us. All right. Then let's stick together. Tomorrow, let's all of us leave Boonesboro and head south. And leave everything we've worked for? Working for something's one thing. Dying for it's another. I told you nobody's gonna die. And another thing. How do we know those Indians you let in aren't part of some plot to trick us? What are you talking about? Tell him, Jeremy. Daniel, I saw an engine sneak it out of the fort today. That was Nanteen. You knew about this, Becky? I'm sorry, Dan. I didn't have a chance to tell you. The girl was Tana's cousin, and she came to warn Tana. Well, she didn't have to sneak in. We let her in. She was probably afraid. Now, I want six of you men Hold to start on, hunting. What's this about an Indian woman bringing a warning? What about that, Becky? Well, it seems a Tuscarora brave Shoshona isn't too happy about the news of the expected baby. Daniel, Shoshona obviously wants war with the Creeks. And Shoshana's on his way now to escort Oneha and Tana back to Chief Greycloud's village. The girl came to warn Tana not to trust Shoshona. You know what this means, Boone? On top of everything else, we can get mixed up in that Indian trouble. If this Shoshona finds out this Indian woman's here, he just might try to raid us. Great Cloud won't attack this fort as long as his daughter is here. What does it take to prove to you we gotta get out of here? Daniel, we just have to. We ain't got enough to eat now this Indian thing? We'll get enough to eat if we have to hunt and fish and dig for 24 hours a day. Well, we've got three fishes now. If we can get three loaves, well, you can bless them and we'll all eat. All we got left is hope and prayer. And I won't stand still for blasphemy. Now, it took all of us to build what we've got here, and it's going to take all of us to keep it. When we came here, this was a savage land, and we tamed it with our bare hands. We can't fight among ourselves. We can't let this land turn us into savages. Maybe I'd flush some rabbits. Didn't get a thing. Mingo's still out there. Saw a pack of wolves turn on one of their own tonight. Tore him to pieces. They're starving too. You must be exhausted. Oh, oh the fire's almost gone out. I had a terrible time getting the Robertson children to sleep and forgot to put more wood on. Oh, don't bother. We'll be going to bed soon. Oh, but I wanted to keep it going till you came home. But I did keep the coffee hot. I saved you a cup. Mime and Israel, they all right? They're holding up just fine. You should be proud of them, Dan. Bad, Rebecca. Real bad. <sighs> you haven't called me Rebecca for years. Can't be that bad. I'm worried. I think I'm worried more now than I've been in all my whole life put together. The salted meat's gone. The blizzard. I can't blame Elisha and all the others for getting all twisted up. I'm getting meaner myself and 
Some old grizzly bear. I know. I've never seen you lose your temper twice in one day before. Everything we worked for. The dream. Oh, Dan. You listen to me. When I first met you, I thought you were... I don't know. The kind of hero that young girls read about in books. But as I got to know you, I realized that you were a man. And I fell in love with that man. Because he was kind and strong. And what's even more important, because I believed in him. In his dream. And it became my dream. I still believe in that man. In his dream. We'll pull out of this. I know we will. Ma? What is it, dear? I'm hungry. Go back to sleep, Israel. Israel, wait. Son. Thanks, Pa. Dan, I saved that for your breakfast. You need your strength, too. You're my strength. Israel, Jemima, you. Better make my rounds. see anything. You ought to go get some rest. You need it. So do you. It's Boone, may I come in? You are always welcome. How are you getting along? My son becomes restless. I think the time shall be soon now. You're sure certain it's going to be a boy, aren't you? Already I can feel the strength of a brave man. Our son shall be the beginning of a new way of life for our tribes. A sapling to protect his people like the branches of a great tree. Well, if he's like his father, he'll be a good man. Where'd this come from? It is the work of my husband. That's good work. You could use a carpenter around here. Daniel! Do Indians want me to let them in? Yes. I am Sashona. We have come to escort the daughter of Great Cloud back to our village. But she cannot leave now. The time of birth for our child is near. Great Cloud ordered me to bring her to him at once. Great Cloud had no wish to harm his only daughter and her child. We will stay until the child is born and wait two moons until he is strong enough to travel, if our good friend Boone will let us remain. Of course you can. She's no condition to travel. We go now. Is it your hope, Sashona, that the cold would perhaps be harmful to the newborn?
We will leave when I say. Not before. Think that about settled it, Shoshona. You can camp outside the shelter if you like. Try to get some rest. Shoshona, I know how you feel about the baby. So do they. Don't bother us. We won't bother you. The child of Tana will not live to unite the tribes. There will be war. The creeks will be destroyed. Return to the village. Tell Grey Cloud the white man holds his daughter hostage, and we must attack. Attacked? Why? Is it not true that a newborn child and his mother might die in the confusion of battle? Go! spirits this morning. We've got to figure out some way to help them. We've got to help them, Becky. yourself? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a regular hum diddly dinger too. Well, now that's the real spirit of Christmas, Sizzle. Yeah, we just had some popcorn, make some strings around there. Popcorn. That's all right, darling. Your little tree is very nice, just as it is. Isn't that my hair ribbon? Oh, uh, it was just an old one. Israel, that happens to be my best ribbon. And look at it, you've cut it to pieces. Jemima. Now it's for a good cause. Daniel. Something's happened. I was on my way to meet you. I noticed the lock was broken. All the powder has been deliberately wetted down. Tell them. We'll make him talk. Just hold on. Shoshona, you've got a choice. Do you want to tell me why you wet down that powder? Or do I walk away and let them ask you their way? 
I did it to save my people from your guns. And what are you talking about? Unless you release the daughter of Grey Cloud, my people will attack the fort. Attack? For what reason? Grey Cloud would not break the treaty. He says you have broken the treaty by keeping his daughter hostage. She's not being kept hostage, and you know that. Yellow Eye, he's gone. You sent Yellow Eye back to Grey Cloud with lies. Why? It would be a bad omen to have the child of Grey Cloud's daughter born under the roof of the white man. If you come with me now, there will be no attack. So the baby, maybe even Tawna, would die out there in the snow. Is that what you had in mind, Shoshona? Or if there is an attack, maybe the child and the mother will die during the middle of it. If you wish to stop the attack, you must send Tana away from the village. You gotta send him away now, Boone. We don't want any more trouble than we've already got. It is many miles to Grey Cloud's village. It is time for the coming of the child. Such a journey now would kill them. Well, it's them or us. Send them away. Grey Cloud would believe me. I will go to him and tell him you are our friends. He will not attack. It's a good idea. Why take such a chance? Get him out of the fort, all of them. I'm not going to send that girl and her baby to their death out in this weather. Natus, find Oneha a warm coat and get him on his way. Jeremy takes you, Shona, and lock him up in the tool shed. Come along, son. Now, the rest oh. of you men, you must have at least 10 rounds of powder left in your horn, maybe more, just in case let's set her defense. Not me. I'm taking my wife and getting out of here right now. If the rest of you have any sense, you'll do the same. You heard, Daniel. Fetch your rifles. A man could easily get lost in this blizzard. What if Oneha doesn't make it on time? And we don't worry about starvation. Come on, get in. Leave it alone. you listen to reason, man. You can't make it. You won't be able to make a mile a day in this. You'll all wish you'd come with me when them Tuscarora devils come screaming down on you. Yeah, yeah.
Shoshona gets through before Aneha, there won't be any stopping him. Here, bite on this leather. It'll help. Time you figure it is? A little after midnight. It's Christmas. Yeah. Becky! I thought I told you to stay inside. Well, I'm afraid the baby didn't hear you, and I've got to have some more blankets. It's now? Now. Dino. It's them. It's gray cloud, all right, on the horse. I guess Oneha didn't get through. I can't tell on this light how many braves he brought with him. I'm going down and talk to him. Daniel, you can't go out there. They're liable to kill you. How long can we fight without gunpowder? So there's no need for both of us to. Let's go. Cloud. This is my friend, the one they call Boone. I'm honored to meet Gray Cloud, great chief of the Tuscarora. Oneha called you friend? I call you friend. Oneha said your people need food. We have much. We bring food to white friends of my daughter. There's enough food here to feed the settlement for a month. Donna, what of Tonna? Baby, he was coming when we left the fort. Come on. Take him, my husband. Hold your son and feel the warmth of new life. Go on, take him, Aneha. You have made an old man walk in the shadow of death with courage, my daughter. A tribute shall be paid the great spirit, for the boy shall become man, and there shall be peace between our tribes. That is good. I make promise that I will light the dark sky with one fire if child be male, two if woman child. We must send signal fire to tell her the good news. I'll light a torch atop the wall you can see for miles. Many friends here today, Gray Cloud. You were my friend when you took in my children. Oh, 
Welcome back, Elisha. You said it'd take a miracle to save us. There it is. Thanks to Ray Cloud, we're gonna make it. I'm sorry, Daniel. Sorry for everything I've said. Sorry I didn't have enough hope. Remember that when you take hope from a man, he's just another animal. Daniel, we want to, uh... Did you supposed to be all right to offer him a gift? I'm sure it'd be. I'll take in. I've said some pretty honorary things to those people. You think they'd want me in there now? They're just ordinary people like us. They understand. There's an old Indian saying they know. When a man's heart's full of fire, sparks fly out of his mouth. Punch. Big man, what a boom, what a doer, what a dream. 